What's up guys, this is Weezy here, back with another video, and today I'll be going over Monday's motivation. And with, and with uh, Monday's motivation, I'll just be discussing um, inspirational words that I feel like impact me a lot, and that um, I feel that will impact you guys throughout your week as well. And for this week, I would like to discuss uh, um, being mindful. And in my uh, book, I just summarize what mindfulness means for me. So our focus this week is on mindfulness. In the state of this meditation, mindfulness helps our bodies perform in a healthy manner. This involves lower stress levels, becoming more phys physically relaxed with ourselves and our peers. And in turn, we benefit our circulatory system by increasing the amount of oxygen we absorb through our breathing. On the other hand, being mindful keeps us grounded to live in the moment and removes us from distractions that we constantly visualize throughout our day. And for me, I overthink a lot, especially when I'm like constructing clothes or um, just like walking to the park or biking or driving. And I realized that I use up a lot of energy with that. And I also am not like using my time effectively. So when I'm, when I'm able to like practice on being mindful, I'm able to uh, catch my thoughts before they, um, you know, linger off track. And mindfulness experiences are characterized by removing our ego which then causes us to lose track of ourselves in a positive way and experience the now moment. As, um, as a wise person once said, tomorrow is never promised. So we must appreciate life and continue to strive for a greater purpose. And so next guys, I would like to share seven easy ways to um, practice on um, being mindful. Number one, practice mindfulness during routine activities such as walking to work, brushing your teeth, eating breakfast, or taking a shower. Really zero in on those activities and take your time. And everyone really knows that um, you find your best ideas while you're taking a shower. Number two, practice right when you wake up. Don't like check your phone, get on social media, or turn on the television, or like watch the news. Start on like, um, you know, taking advantage of your day and not like reacting to uh, what you see on social media or stuff that you see on the news. So mindfulness practice in the morning helps set the tone of your nervous system for the rest of the day, which then allows you to have more mindful moments throughout your day. Number three, let your mind wander. Our mind and brain are natural wanderers. Let it be free for a few minutes or half an hour or an hour or even longer and allow your imagination to sink in. You know, like be a kid again and that's when you know that uh, sky is limited and you can do whatever you want to do as long as you put your mind to it and just take action towards it. Number four, keep it short. Our brains respond better to bursts of mindfulness. For instance, you can tune into your body such as focusing on your facial expression while at work or while like running errands. And greeting people with, with a smile always starts your day off well. Number five, practice mindfulness while you wait. In our fast-paced lives, waiting is a big source of frustration, whether you're waiting in line or stuck in traffic. And personally, I know I get frustrated when I'm in traffic because I really hate driving. So um, while you're waiting, just think about the small positive things such as having a car to get you from point A to uh, point B even though you're in traffic. Or you being able to like, have the funds to buy like the shoes that you like or the clothes that you like or uh, like a cup of coffee before you go to work in the morning. Number six, pick a prompt to remind you to be mindful. Choose a cue that you'll encounter on a regular basis to shift your brain into mindful mode, such as uh, your front door entrance, you know, before you walk out the house, just um, focus on um, that, like your day is gonna be great and no one's gonna ruin your day. And, you know, just think about all the positive things that can come out throughout your 24 hours. Or, you know, your mirror while you're putting on makeup or, you know, like getting dressed for work or just like your cup of coffee. And lastly, number seven, really learn to meditate. The best way to cultivate mindfulness in everyday life is formally train in meditation. And that's something I'm gonna work on a lot. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Right yeah, ma. What are you doing? I'm working on a video. You blowing my phone up. What video? I can't even look at my camera. All right, too bad. I'm gonna call you back. I need to see the picture of the backyard, boy. All right, I'm gonna call when you in like five minutes. I'm gonna take that <laughs> We'll call you like five minutes. No, take a picture. Just give me a FaceTime. I need to see. All right, I'm going to call right back. My dang <laughs> So learn to meditate. The best way to cultivate mindfulness in everyday life is to formally train in meditation. And this is something that I'm, that I'm gonna work on and just like to get my mind right and I know that it helped me, you know, stop overthinking and, you know, live in a more positive attitude throughout my day. 
So remember, mindfulness isn't a luxury. It's a practice that trains your brain to be more efficient and better integrated with less distractibility and improved focus. It minimizes stress and even helps you become your best self. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you will take action on being mindful throughout your week. And I will see you next week on Monday's Motivation.